Electric power is everywhere present in unlimited quantities and can drive the world's machinery without the need of coal, oil, gas, or any other fuel. This new power for the driving of the world's machinery will be derived from the energy which operates the universe, the cosmic energy. Vibration. So when I fix this, it'll have way higher. It's nearly 900. All, all the engineers out there have been told that the Tesla turbine isn't practical and it can't make power. In fact, there's there's video after video on YouTube saying that it's got no torque and it can't produce any usable power. But it's just not true. Okay, so. What are we looking at here? So we're looking at the cold steam system all in one spot. Um, we have the condenser over here and we have the boiler over here. Now right now this is at 73 and a half degrees Fahrenheit. So <clears throat> this is this is a tank of 73 degree water that is in a vacuum mm -hmm. and this is a pressure cooker that has cold ice around it and some ice inside of it um, that this compressor has sucked all the air out of <clears throat> so it's a vacuum sealed pressure cooker mm -hmm. they are piped together when currently the valves are closed and in the middle of them, um, besides the valves that are there and the, and the monitors um, or the gauges, there is the turbine. turbine. And so this turbine is, what is this turbine? Well, and why is it in between these two tanks? One of them cold, one of them room temperature. Um, the, the turbine's in between because once this starts boiling, it produces, it produces a gas, water, mm -hmm. vapor. And that gas comes through and wants to flow to the cold side. But because the turbine's in the way, it's forced to work and spin the turbine. Mm -hmm. Now, the turbine has a rotor that has a shaft that's attached to a magnet. Mm -hmm. And as that rotor spins by the fluid passing to the cold side, it produces electricity because we have coils one coil on each side of the magnet. So the faster this generator goes, the faster the tur turbine goes, the faster the magnet goes, the more voltage you get on the output and the more amps that you'll get on the output. And this is a cross section of the turbine mm -hmm. uh, that you designed. And it's got some... And the, so the pressure comes in here mm -hmm. or the difference in pressure comes in here it's forced to rotate around in a circle and that forces the turbine to rotate and then there's a top piece that goes over this the other the other covering yeah and it looks like this so let me take that part off mm -hmm. so you can see that the fluid is forced to go around in a circle and come out the exhaust here mm -hmm. And then this supports the other side. And this, this other side here is identical. Mm -hmm. It just has a magnet on the shaft sticking out on one end. Mm -hmm. And this magnet is diametrically magnetized. That means half over here, one half over here is positive, and one half over here is negative. So as this rotates, you have an alternating magnetic field. That its orientation is positive, negative, positive, negative as it spirals or spins around next to the coils. Mm -hmm. And that's what's in there. Mm -hmm. And this is a vacuum sealed box that it's also in. Yeah, and we'll also demonstrate that this this turbine can spin and operate as a pump. We can actually give power to this turbine just sitting on top of the other one. Just because the magnet in there is pulling mm -hmm. the magnet on there. It's magnetically coupled. Mm -hmm. So Neither if I spin LED this LEDs. one, I actually spin the turbine too, and you can see that down there. Uh 
Aha, but they're not connected at all. Mm -hmm. Nope. So. so this actually becomes a pump. Now later on, we actually want the exhaust of the turbine hooked up to another turbine to the pump. We'll spin this with a motor and produce more vacuum inside of here, get rid of the vapor pressure and we'll be able to run or we will be able to run at way lower temperatures and pressures differentials. Mm -hmm. um, but that's yeah, that's later. What was the one invention that Tesla was most proud of? You think it would be the AC motor, right? Yeah, because that's what started everything. But it was a Tesla turbine. And and after studying the principles of it, uh, the concepts, it really is um, it really is phenomenal because it really is a tornado in a box or a hurricane in a box. Mm -hmm. So um, when you look at a tornado or a hurricane, what you see is like in a hurricane, the the more heat that you pump into the hurricane yeah and the more moisture that you pump in the hurricane the stronger it gets cat one two three four mm -hmm. cat five mm -hmm. all right and that's just because it has more heat more moisture the turbine works on the same principle the more heat the more moisture you put into it the faster and the stronger it gets the other interesting phenomenon about that is that as these molecules are spinning around in the turbine something called wind chill factor cools off the heat and extracts the heat from it and makes it go faster in the turbine we put a shaft in there so that the heat is extracted from the moisture and that heat is transformed into motive force into the shaft the shaft spins, and you just put a generator on the end of that shaft, and now you have electricity. Now, in a hurricane or a tornado, you'll see uh, hail mm -hmm. uh, precipitate out. And all that is is just water being turned to ice as the heat is extracted from it. Mm. And now you have hail. And this works on the exact same principle. Um, and we have produced ice coming out of it, which was pretty exciting, you mm -hmm. know. Um, so th that's that's a tornado in a box. That's and that's all we did was built what Tesla um, patented over a hundred years ago. Hello. I am here. So let's plug it in and then do another acceleration test with a load on it. Ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's a thousand hertz! <laughs> so the generator is dampening the vibration!